Hi, my name is Carla Hernandez, and I'm going to be reading this article called Tracking the Companies that Track You Online. Um, this was made in August 19, 2010 by NPR and YHYY. Um, it's, this hasn't, it's been a while since it was made. And uh, right here. Um, the yellow highlighting is going to be important facts. I'm going to hide that. And I don't know these, so I'm going to change the color um, to pink. These are things I don't know. Okay. Start reading. One of the fastest growing online business is the business of spying on internet. Users by using sophisticated software to track moments movements through the web so that the information can be sold to advertisers. Um, that's kind of creepy. That's actually pretty creepy. And these are words I don't know. So, right over here. Oh no, wait, that's... Never mind. I already have that. That's this one. Okay, let me change that back to that color. Um, Julia and Anguin recently led a team of reporters from the Wall Street Journal in analyzing the tracking software. I don't know who that is. She doesn't seem familiar to me in any way. They discovered that nearly all the most commonly visited websites gather information in real time about the behavior on online users, and many internet users are unaware that their information is being tracked and then traded. So they're just spying, that's, that's pretty creepy, from the interview with Angwin. So we get to read an interview. <coughs> How cookies and bacons work. Cookies and bacon. This is really weird. I don't know what type of cookies or bacons they're trying to talk about. So, yeah, I'm going to highlight and change the colors of these. Based on the Wall Street Journal profile of 26 year old Ashley Hayes Biddy and what tracking. <coughs> companies knew about her based on her internet usage. <clears throat> that just whole sentence confused me a lot. I don't, I didn't get it at all. Let's read it again to see if, if we get it the second time. Based on the Wall Street Journal profile of 26 year old Ashley Hayes Betty and what tracking companies knew about her based on her internet usage. Also, that profile is about her. Let me... Um, there you go. I think that's important. The company tracking Ashley knew all her favorite movies, her age, her hometown, and that she liked quizzes and entertainment news. She was given an ID number which was stored on her computer in something called a cookie. A cookie. 
Um, it has a little one here, so I'm guessing the, the definition is down here. A cookie is something we did not discuss in technology class when we discussed internet safety. Basically, cookies track what you do and are automatically installed when you visit websites. We did not discuss them in detail because you cannot fully avoid them. Oh, okay, so it's something installed directly into your computer once you visit a website. Cannot get rid of them. Okay. And oftentimes, when you visit a website, these cookies are installed without you knowing it. Separately, when she went to some websites, they had different kind of technology called a beacon or bacon. Let's check that one out too. Cookies and bacons are just software to track what you're doing on a computer, usually for advertising purposes. Huh. So. There's a definition stick, which is another tracker that tries to figure out what you're doing while you're on a page. So in her case, these beacons was actually seeing her activity around movies in particular. She had listed her favorite movies on a website and it saw that she was typing those in and captured that data and stored it in a profile, which is stored at some mothership where there's a little drawer that has her ID number and inside the drawer it, it, it says there are her fa these are her favorite movies and every time they find more information about her they add more to the file wow that that is extremely weird okay on dictionary.com the side with the most tracker installed among 50 most popular websites I think that's important because a lot of people visit dictionary.com and now they get to know that there's it's a site with most trackers that could probably um, stop them from going there or they, so they could be aware. The one site that installed the most was dictionary.com. A visit to dictionary.com resulted 234 trackers being installed on our test computer and only 11 of those were installed by dictionary.com wow that's that's a lot on privacy concerns it's totally fair to say that tracking companies don't know your name but my feeling is if they know everything else about you doesn't matter that they don't know your name that's basically true I mean, once they know everything about you, your name doesn't really, it's not really that important no more. Because it feels intru- Oh, that's a, that's a hard word. Yeah, I don't know it, so. Let's change that. Um, this thing's- that because it feels in trusted to have somebody know so much about you par particularly when we do so much online when I look at my record of my browsing history what type of history is this your browsing history is the list of all the web pages you visited on a computer it's sorted by date oh I think I have one of those on my laptop or I look at what pages I look at, it really seems to be a record on of my thoughts. Mm, let's huh. Um so she went back and looked at the pages she looked at. Every time I have a thought, I take an action online and Google it. So online tracking does build up these incredibly rich drow what is I don't get that word. Trousers. Hmm. 
I don't actually Google a lot. So, um, one question is, is knowing your name the right definition for uh, a nominity? Let's, let's look for that word. If someone is anonymous, they are unknown, cannot be identified, and said they have a nominee. Oh, okay. Um, right now, that is considered by anonymous. Um, anonymous is when you don't know who you who the person is. It's um like a secret person. If they don't know your name, they not covered by laws to regulate personally ident identifiable information. Don't know that word either. And that's it. Well, I guess we're done.